Hello and welcome back to Planet of the Geeks. It's been a little while, mm -hmm. but here we are with the Cursed City, Warhammer Quest. And there it is. <clears throat> so this was, as it is, pretty hard to get hold of, apparently. Um, well, I say apparently. I spent 25 minutes trying to refresh the Games Workshop site. And yeah. still didn't get it, so I went to Element Games. Uh, so top tip, uh, go to Element Games. <laughs> um, yes. yes, that was... That was 25 minutes of my life, I'll never get back. But there we go. Uh, there we go. It was very highly annoying as well yes. when you were trying to purchase it and we knew it was going to go out very quickly because, yes. to all intents and purposes, we'd heard on the grapevine that it was going to be one that a lot of people would want. I think it's going to be a lot of disappointing people. I mean, yeah. the Games Workshop one had that key on it. And I think <laughs> when I placed the order exactly at 10 o'clock, mm. it had the key in that in the basket and... And that's probably and then refresh, it's sold refresh, out. Refresh, refresh, refresh. It's sold out of the key, and because that's yeah. like you said. And then it's, it's a screw up system. But there we go. So that's my complaint to my Games Rush. Anyway. <laughs> but we've got Cursed City. Right. Yay. Uh, so, and again, I got it from Element Games. Although they did run out about an hour or so after Games Rush. So, uh, but still, the transaction went through like that. So. Uh, so, let's unbox this thing. Mm -hmm. It's a nice box, actually. It is, actually. Yeah, it's, quite um, cool. yeah, very nice. And it's come on day of release as well. Yes. Um, although, it was like mid-afternoon, so it's now Sunday. But I don't know when this video is going out. Um, so here's the contents. We'll get this. Got off. it open there. Yeah, and when I picked it up, it actually came off. All oh, right. But you want to go around the box, you don't want to open it that way. No. We'll <laughs> pretend that bit wasn't open. Oh, okay. And, and move along. So these are our heroes. And these are the villains. Or at least some of them. Uh, let's turn this over. Yeah, it's nice artwork on the box, actually. It is, actually, yeah. Um, I was going to say, so this is a bit like Silver Tower, if you've never played the Warmer Quest games. Silver Tower and Black. I, don't, I think we didn't. Black Fortress? Black Fortress, that's it. I think there was Hammerhand as well, Hell Hammerhand or something. Yeah. But we only got Silver Tower because I was never that impressed with the game, to be fair. Mm. But I like the models in this, so even if the game's the same, I like the models. So, yep. one of the reasons I wanted to get it. So, those look like the heroes. These look like heroes. So they are in two different colours in case you cannot be bothered painting it. <laughs> um, which is fair enough. It looks like the uh, simple to put together as well, so you could just um, squish them together and play it. To me. I hope so. I was going to put them together on the channel, so that makes it easy. That's the other side. And then we have, I think that's the main villain. I can't remember his name. The main vampire. And then we have some sprues. It's got something really big on it. Mm -hmm. And something else really big on it. Look at these sprues different though. Yeah, they're lovely. That's the second sprue. That and the last sprue. I can see a giant bat on there. As well as some smaller bat. The batty sprue. Now <laughs> uh, this thing, which is mainly just a protector. Um, would have made a good backdrop though, as we go on it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's mainly just a protector for the, the box and stuff to stop yeah. them ending up like that from all the sprues. So we have all the bases. Dice. A ton of dice. Bases, ton more bases. We've got little slotters in as well. Mm. So again, it looks like you might not even need glue to put this together. That's I will be using glue. Yeah, that's what I was uh, hinting at before. Yeah. I think you're right. Uh, that is the rule book, and also it's like the build instructions are in there as well. We have a whole bunch of cards. And there. Right. There we go. It's uh, an advert for the book and a mini poster if you want. A router. Obviously they've realised they've got some of the instructions wrong. Whoops. Because they're putting a router in. Oh, they probably heard us having a wind yeah. about it. And thought, and oh. And certainly, this is the wrong thing. <laughs> right. And then we have... 
a heavy part of the box. Oh, we have a whole bunch of uh, Ziploc bags as well, which is handy. Oh, box is black as well, that's nice. Stylish. What's that? That said, do not open. Do not open. Do not open until the journey has been completed. Do not open until the journey has been completed. Something like that anyway. Do not open until the final assault decapitation journey has been completed. There you go. A mystery wrapped in a quandary, wrapped in a gloom haven. <laughs> got war scrolls there. Alright, so we've got the war scrolls for using them in Age of Sigma. Which is awesome. Nice to have them in a little box. Mm -hmm. So I probably will be using them in Age of Sigma. The uh, sticky together guys. I'll so we'll look at that in a minute. Yeah. Uh, you've got your rule book there. This is the Coast City rule book, so just for as I thick the rules are for this. Does it actually have the scenarios in here as well? Uh, no, that's your quest book here. Right, so all this is just rules and nice pictures. And then you've got your quest. Which is a story for another time, I think. <laughs> and then we have the quests. In the, so that's the actual game. Mm -hmm. And then we have all the board sections. Clara's going to punch it. Cards, oh, whatever that for. There's a slightly oversized, there's a normal size. If you're wanting plastic walks to put them in anyway. Uh, and then we have these things, which will be the rules for each model, I imagine. for the heroes and probably one of the game mechanics <laughs> but there we go and they are double sided cool. didn't we get some uh, shiny ones last time some oh still the tower yeah. you got some shiny shiny cards such like uh, not this time no, you just got a key this time. The key this time. If you were if you were very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Right, um, so these are the board sections. Yeah, they look like whatever they are, walls, doors. Same sort of card as previous games. Fairly thick. Relatively durable. Um, look like the original one quest. Ones them. Well, I um, so what we'll do, we've also got all the tokens we must take off. We'll take all those off and then we'll come back. Okay, so now we've dismantled everything and got it in the box. We shall start putting the models together. So we're going to start with, is it Jelson Darok or Darok? Is this the witch hunter guy? Looks like it. He's I think he's one of the first cool models model. I've just teased. Yeah. So. I think he's a cool model. Yeah, I think it looks really cool. I lost that one, guys. <laughs> right, so, so uh, we need A40. So all these are on this sprue, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. So this is the A sprue. Okay. So we need A40, A41, A42, A43, A44. Nice. Follow okay. on the. And we need a 30 mil base, so we'll cut those parts off because this looks like it's easy to put together. We'll also get the parts off for Captain Amelda Staunton. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Captain Amelda Braskoff. 
which is A16, A15, A17 and A18 and 32 mm base. I've also got Quilathis, the Exile, yeah. um, A6, A7, A8, A9, only four parts, 32 mm base. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so we have A41, which is kind of a mismatch of his leg, part of his body and his head. An A40, which is the other part of his coat. And we would assume, in some semblance, it goes like that-ish. Because he's got this big collar around the front, hasn't he? Mm. So that sort of goes together like that. And then... You have this bit. And this bit. So I think that... Does that go in there? <laughs> God, I'm it. It's all twisted around, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So yeah, that bit goes into there, or plugs in. Somehow. Somehow. Yeah, so that's meant to plug into there. And then you have a peg on there which goes through there and through there to hold it all together. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to glue this. <laughs> yeah, it's not confusing at all in any way, shape or form. He's kind of like got it over his shoulder, hasn't he? Yeah. Kind of... It's not these two going on somewhere. This bit is a bit weird. Because I would have thought... It's not that far over his shoulder, is it? That's the back of his cape. Oh, it needs to sort of fit into that. Like that. Here we go. I suppose that's the way to do it get it so far and then push it around. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there as well. I'm going to make sure it's as tight as I can get it up. So there's almost no gap. Okay, so then these two should go together. Which at this point, if you haven't glued it, you'll be holding on to it like this with room death, not to <laughs> drop it. <laughs> and then this bit should go through the and hold it all together. Like that. Cool. And then we have the, the hexagonal. Base plug up. And there he is. Pretty straightforward to put together. <clears throat> <laughs> Once you figured out that you've got to like yeah. move it, skew it, it's fine. It's easy enough. Cool. Yeah. 
Do you want sticking to the bases already? You can do, you might as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so, I'd say stick them to the bases. Clearly, there's no reason. They don't to... move. Because they've got little skinny bases on anyway. So yeah. There's no reason to not. Okay, there he is. So Maldo is three parts, four parts. I missed that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so we have the head itself. So there's a tiny little nodule there. So it's simple. What you do is you use the force to hold that in place. <laughs> If you're not a force user, maybe find a wizard. <laughs> um, and if you're neither of those, some glue will do. Yeah. And also make sure you got nothing left off the sprue. There was a little bit left on that. Otherwise it will not fit into place properly. And then we have two little bags there. We are going to put that bit and that bit into. And then, and then that. I've just seen a bit of spray. Nice, come off. <laughs> Blast. Always after I put the glue on as well. There we go. Put that in there and that in there. Make sure that is fully in because we've used glue. There was a bit of a gap at the top, isn't there? There. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with these push to fit models, there's always some tension from the mm. from the plastic, leaving little gaps. This by far is not the worst. That's true, we have seen worse. The, the, the Sig, Sigmarines are the worst, because they always do it on the shoulder pads, uh, which yes. is the worst place to put it. Uh, like right down the middle. Yeah. So if you don't push them in together, you end up with a massive gap you've got to fill. Sweet. Nice. That's a really cool model as well, by the way. Mm, it is actually. She's very Joan of Arc to me. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the way they've painted her as well with the uh, blonde yeah. hair and everything, yeah. Blonde hair and the armour and stuff. Yeah. Although it really did work. It's cool. It is. Uh, it's a very nice model. I can see Clara in that one off as well. <laughs> so next up we have uh, the obligatory elf. Is it just three parts here? Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm hoping so. That's all I've got. Four. Should they? Should be four. What, what am I missing? So that's A9. Uh, that's oh, A8. A7, A6, A8. But anyway, uh, this one has mm. these two parts first. So that's the head. There is a T section on the bottom. That fits into that. At least that will stay in, um, even if you drop it. That was a totally intentional test, by the way. Uh, we have this bit here, which I'm going to put a little bit of glue on. And we have this bit here which goes on the back doesn't it so put that on first I just noticed a bit broken off as well I probably did that when I was pushing the head in place which is the other problem with push to fit models 
is that you have to put quite a bit of pressure on to get them in place. And by doing that you can break bits off. Thankfully it's plastic and a relatively clean brick. So you probably will break yourself like that. Don't worry about it. Let's glue them back together. <laughs> the only worry comes when you go bouncing across the floor. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, don't worry about that. That's obligatory. Every time you put a kit together, at least one part, at least one, if not many, have to bounce across the floor. <laughs> and you have to spend at least three hours looking for the odd head, gun, limb. Sword. Sword. Smallest bit in the universe. Yes. Yeah. To uh, put it back together. Yeah. But there she is. She had another cool model. Very nice. But again, just be careful. Especially this arrow. This was the bit I was worried about. Yeah. I didn't even think about the antlers. But there we go. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the first page done. Relatively far. Before you turn over, I just noticed that over there, which is dead handy. That's the base size. Yeah, which is really, really useful yeah. because more often than not, we're like, oh, what size base if, is that? If you're new to it, it's very handy because obviously you yeah. just scale that one to one. That's your biggest 50 mil base. And then you go, oh, I did the 32 mil. Well, that's that one. Brilliant. Because the 32 and the 25 are very close they are. together. And if you're not used to the measurements, I mean, obviously there's 28, which is mentally in this set. You could be really loud and do this. There we go. So you have the uh, 40 mil, which is that one, and then the 25, which is the slotter base, the oldest traditional base, probably of gaming workshop, is a slotter base. Uh, but there we go. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to shout that out. Yeah, I thought that's that good was idea. really, really useful. It's, if you're new to the hobby and you don't know what the base sizes are, mm. it's a good little uh, tool. We might keep that actually. Clint can keep that. Yeah. Not throwing this out. <laughs> right, okay. So apparently, it's Dagny Holden stock. He's mine. Yeah, that's fine, it's okay. We called him. Now, this has Heaven Errata, which is here. Uh, so it says A28, A29, A30, A31, A32, and A33. And this is A28, A29, A30. Okay. So it's actually showing you to put it together slightly differently, maybe. Then A31, A32, A29B, and then A33. So to be fair, it's a slightly different assembly as opposed to different parts. So let's check the parts are correct. This is on this other sprue though, isn't it? I believe so, because I can't see any of those on here. Yeah, I think they've included my two models on the same sprue. Oh, that, that's nice. <laughs> the next they, they must have known. <laughs> I'm bagging the dwarf and the ogre. <laughs> <laughs> What's you want the ogre? Uh, no, no, you can have the Bagsy and the ogre. Okay. And I've got witnesses, everyone who watched this. <laughs> Cool, so forget the, let's get the ogre off as well, because A19, A20, A21, 24, 25, 22, 27, 26 and 23. We'll get both these guys off, just take all the parts off, clean them up and back in a second. Okay, so now we've got the parts off, we have A28, which is the back part of uh, Dagny's coat. And we have his member of his body and those parts just use pegs. <clears throat> so stick those together. Make sure they go in. And then we have his face mask going on. Like it fits 
Да. Then we have his arm with his axe. So we're also going to try and line that tube up as well, aren't we? From his face mask. Leaves a little gap. Then we have a twenty three. Then we have this in a little bit, which is a twenty nine. I believe. I think that's the part I was missing off the book, isn't it? Yes, it is. Do I figure out which way around this goes? Because it's a little bit sticks in. Let's put the backpack on. Um, yeah, so that's the bit that has to stick out, the shorter side. There we go, there is a thing in there. Just push that in. Now I'll use some glue to keep that in place. While we put on the back. So, I'm going to glue this bit onto that. And there's just this little gap on his face, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, I got up. But I can fill that with a bit of green stuff, I think. Let's pull this on a bit and see if that fills it. Yeah, there we go. It's not too bad. So yeah, there we go, that's really cool. Do like them all. We can do it in right. Next up we have the best name ever. Brotog Corpse Eater. <laughs> so we have A19, A20, and A21, so I'll like a body and an arm. That needs to go on there, I see. Right. So again, you have to use your Jedi powers or some glue. <laughs> and 
Then we have the back piece. Should stick in there, I think. We have this knife and pouch combo. They can go. He's cool. He certainly is. Mm. One thing we'll say that spike isn't as sharp as some spikes that you get. Yeah. It's a bit rounded off on the top. Then we have this little bit of MacGuffin for the base because we've got two holes in the base. A little skull or something, isn't it? Yep. So. Just like a smash skull. I think so. Oh, in any way then, can't it? It's just. It's like it's just stomped on it. There we go. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Mm. Yeah. Compared to a few others. No, no, you call them. You call those. You might want some of these others anyway that are coming up. Okay, so we have. Cleona Zeit Engel. Mm. So we need to, oh, you probably take this one. They'll need cleaning up, don't they? They do, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's a 12, a 10, a 13, 11, 14. Then we have Galario Ven Alton the third. Mm hmm. We've got a lot of powers here, 35, 34, 37, 38, 36, 39. It's like an Imperial Noble, isn't he? Mm. The original. Yes. And then we have Octran Galimscry. He was definitely an old wizard. A3, A1, A2, A4 and A5. Mm -hmm. Right. These are the last of the heroes as well. That's it. Oh, cool. So, we shall uh, close already taking most of the parts off, but they need to clean up, so we'll be back when that's done. Right. <clears throat> okay. So, this one together. Let's read A12 and A10. Which was pretty self explanatory, it's just that going on to that. So, you've claimed this one as well, haven't you? Um, yeah, it just reminds me of a sister. It reminds me of Queen Amidala. <laughs> I think it's a headdress, isn't it? That's yeah. what it is. It's, it's a silly headdress she's got going on there. And we have A13. 
wonder if she has to like roll like a six to get through the door or something. Like yeah. A stupid collar or something. You can just see all the other heroes going, oh my god. <laughs> roll six to go through the gateway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's rolled a one again. Yes, you're stuck. She rolled a one. It's a bit awkward. Her dress is getting in the way of a construction line. Oh, blimey. There we go. And finally, the back part of this thing. The tassel. My only complaint <clears throat> about that is it's blank. And yet on the picture there's like little runes yeah. on it. I'm, I'm thinking... I mean, this would be a good bit to leave separate if you were overly concerned about painting the bit underneath. Yeah. I don't know. But it's pretty blank, to be fair, underneath. Uh, yeah, you could do it blank. They are just painted on runes, aren't they? Yeah. But, you know, for people that are maybe first-time painters that aren't confidently yeah, doing that, I think it, it's wrong to do that because it's like, a, look what I can do and you can't replicate it. If you knew, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. So maybe just do it blank. Otherwise, what I would do anyway, because I'm a cheat, is use a pen. But there we go. Yeah, like a, a very thin. One of the fine liner yeah. pens. So I do purity seals. Just, and then you, uh, those are runes. Mm -hmm. So you just drawing them on. Yeah. You can get different colours. Got a lot of dark red on there, don't they? Mm. There she is. Very cool. Very nice. She's all very cool. Yeah. As much as I'm mocking a Queen Amidala. <laughs> right. Uh, this guy. Valen Van. What's his first name? Galar Gla Galario. Galario. Van Alton. Van Alton the third. third. <laughs> of Liechtenstein. <laughs> I don't know. It's a Knight's Tale. Jacobian <laughs> girl. Yeah. With accent and without accent. <laughs> right. Uh, mm. So we've got A34, which is this main part of the body. A35, which is his leg, which appears to go on there. And then we have A37. Yep, that's part of his coat. I assume that's going on this peg here. Is it? Mm, or is it not? Going on something else, that. Yeah, it's going to go on like that, so it's not going to go on the peg. Right, so, again, using dark magic, what you've got to do is hold that in place for this part of the assembly and then this bit goes on the... but I'll just go up. It was great, you get it right in place and then you put glue on it, you come back to put it on and <laughs> you just will not go back it. in the same place. It's like, thanks. There we go. Just put a bit of glue in that. On the and again. Which needs to be pushed into place. And then we can put on his arm. And should go on a bit. I hope. Yep. Leaving that little peg sticking up. Very sure about And there we go. Done. Get 
Okay. Still on the 32 mils. So the last hero is uh, Oct Octron Glim Scry. So we have a three and a one. So we have Peg. And a four. This is as tight as possible because there's quite a few little lines in there. Just still feel probably could do with filling given he's wearing a cloak. Hmm. Reminds me of one of those um, what are they called? Night haunts. Yeah, he's got he's got this thing is his mask, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Is it a mask or is it his face? It's a mask. He's wearing, a mask. Oh, he's wearing a mask. I couldn't tell. His face. Oh, definitely wearing a mask. Okay. And then he has a massive long beard underneath. And that is that. Ah. So those are the heroes. So yeah, most of them were pushed together, others a few parts that really do need to be glued. Moving on. Start on the villains. So the main villain. Okay. Machine. Mm. Rattle car the wolf. Yep. So B sprue we're on. B1, B2, B3, B4. B5, that's him. And we'll also get Torgillus the Chamberlain, which is the C sprue. C8, C7, C9, C10, 11, 12, which makes him. So, we'll do this next page. Okay, so we have B1 and B2, which is the big ass clock this guy's got, and uh, the sword. That seems to fit in though, somehow. It's got to be at that angle. There we go. So it goes in like that. Let me glue that while it's in place. Then we have B3, which is the front of his body. So we have that for the arm to go in, by the looks of it. And then this is going to come through the. Let's get a bit of glue on this. That. 
Then we have this bit, which goes over here. And then we have this bit. Which goes in there. That's really huge, but most of them is cloak. <laughs> mm. There we go. Uh, these are a 40 mil base, I believe. There we go. Vampire. <laughs> Now the Chamberlain, we have C8 and C7, C8 being this bit, C7 being this bit, C8 being this bit, connect to the And then we have what's next C9. Which is the front part of his body. It's also like that, but it goes on to the For his head, and there's a little tab on the peg, not tab hole on the peg, though, for his other arm. Always helps. There go. And then we have C12, which is his wolf fox thing. Is that a wolf? Small for a wolf. First two villains. Boo, hiss. Boo, 
pantomime time. <laughs> and we move on to the next three. So we have the Watch Captain Halgrim, C15, 14, and 13, just three parts. And the 30ml slaughter dash. And we have um, the Kasagi Night Guard. C20, C19, 23, 21, 22, and C16, 17, and 18. So these are two models, yeah? Is it one model? Or two models? Yeah, two models. Two different models. So we'll get them together as well. Okay, so we have C14 on the watch captain. We have his front part. Like so, and then we have C thirteen and his clock and remaining arm. And then we have guard number one, who is these two bits. Got a bit of glue in each of those. Right. So these two bits go together. Like that. And then we have this bit. Goes in that. Are these meant to be ogres, would you say? I would say so, yeah. Undead ogres. Cool. And then we have this bit, which is the front of his helmet. First time. And then we have which one is it going? That one. That. And then we have a little Rat thing. Presumes an undead rat as opposed to a scaven rat. Oh, you, yeah. He's holding a key though and looks quite alive. I suspect that's a scaven rat infiltrating. And there we go. I do like these though. <laughs> They're cool. And then we have. Other guy, just one each of these. So that one goes on first, I think. That goes on there first, just now.
would think. <laughs> I mean, that's how wants to go on that side, doesn't it? Awesome, it must work. Bends back into place. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, you got to make sure that helmet fits behind there, otherwise, it's going to get in the way of that. Doesn't work right. Done. The other night god. Ouch. Oh, that's spiky. Ow. <laughs> the helmets are spiky. Ouch. I got me right in the finger. Yes. Right, so we can now have the Vicross Bloodborne. Okay. I believe there's three of these. Okay. So we'll cut all the parts off for this. So it's C25, 24, 27, 6 and 8. 33, 32, 29, 31, 30, 35, 34, 37, 36. To make these three vampire things. Uh, I've not read the lore on these yet, so I'm not quite sure they are, but they're some sort of vampire. So uh, we'll get those parts off. Okay, so we have this giant pillar first, which is C25 and C24. Plenty of clearness. And then we have C27 and 26, which is the arms. Just see how it goes together. There's like a little cutout in, the, in this little hook section. Looks like it should go in. Like that. And then that's attached on to here. This looks like it should be easier than it actually is, but... <laughs> Stay in place. <laughs> well, I do this. Right, I'm going to 
I'll take this off camera while I'll do it. I should be back in a second. Okay, so for whatever reason that was super difficult, even though it really wasn't. But there we go. So that goes on there. And then the head goes on there. Which I promptly dropped. Yes, this was the first piece <laughs> in the obligatory fling across the room. It's usually a head. It is, yeah, so. it's usually a head, yeah, so. There we go. That's 30 mil base, yeah. Right. Yes. I'm going to 32 and right, so it's just a peg. He says, <laughs> like that, and then these three. Is that it for this? Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Those two pieces of pillar. Yeah, we've got number three one as well there. Another piece of pillar. Ouch. <laughs> Ow. Felt that. to the legs. It's like his hands resting on the yeah. top of the thumb. <laughs> At least it should be. <laughs> he just doesn't want to, he's like, nah. There we go. Cool. And then we have the last one. Yep. You got the smallest piece there. Okay. <laughs> what I had to do with that, because of where it was on the sprue, was cut round it. The, the You've head. got all round it. Yeah. The, yeah. This little bit here. It, it's like the world's smallest bit on the sprue. And no matter which way you try and get hold of it, it's going to ping one way or another. So I cut round. The um, the number and then kind of like held the head while I cut it off so it didn't ping anywhere. Do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is that not going on? You think this should be really easy? No, it's not. It's not pushing in. Whatever angle, what exact angle it needs to be at. off at the sprue a bit more cutting off or something or shouldn't do should it shouldn't do mm. 
There we go, finally. Just took some persuasion. This is the head, is it? There we go. At least that way on okay. Those three. Who's next? Gorslav the Gravekeeper and the Vagskir. Spade. So what's that? C1, C2, C3, C4. C3, C6, C4. C5. C5. And then you've got um, C38, I think. Is that C38? Find your base. No, I know. Yeah, it's C38. C39. And 40. C41. C41. Checker. No, it's 40 on my base, I think. That one? Yeah. Oh. That's a 40. It says 50. Yeah. Same one at the yoga zone. Oh. He's definitely on a 50 mil base, isn't he? That says 50. Hmm. That's the same as that. Hmm. There's another 50 mil there. Still, I shall stick them together. I'll clean these up. Just check the box, make sure it's not falling out. And uh, see where we go from there. Yeah, so obviously there's only one 50 mil base because the yoga should be on a 40 mil base. Yay! Dumb, 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 dumb. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, my bad. Right, so yes, I managed to, uh, hadn't quite fully nice. set, thankfully, so I was able to push it uh, back out through the bottom using the uh, good old scraper tool and uh, retrieve the base intact. Uh, brilliant. So, move on to the graveskeeper. position. The looks of this picture. <laughs> Where's he got all the on? Ah, yeah. Makes sense. That makes perfect sense, actually. It goes in there like that. Hmm. I don't know that one. Thanks, Alexa. <laughs> Who's talking to you, anyway? <laughs> got Alexa was on there, actually. And they say Amazon doesn't listen to everything you do. <laughs> hmm. There we go. There we want. Uh, is it that bit? It is that bit, I think. A C3. Yeah, yeah. It's shoulders. I don't know if it's onto that. And these bits are really delicate. <laughs> yeah. And then we have his head. There's a pound of water in his face. <laughs> and then 
40 millimetre base. <coughs> It's the last one on the base, isn't it? I think so, yeah. It looks like it anyway. Yep. And so that does go on there like that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And the wrap thing, the jig. So does that go? Does that go? It's not a wrap thing, is it? It's like a wrap from here. Actually, that should go on to that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a dude coming out of a grave. Lovely. With oh yeah, because he's picking it up and he? he's lifting it up. Yeah, with what I hope is um, magic coming out of him and not worms. It's <laughs> very hard to tell. Could, be, it could be worms. Might do it as worms, actually. Yeah. Yes. Makes it more good. Alright, so onto the uh, Varg Skier. If that's how you say it. And if it isn't, if it isn't. We don't care. I don't <laughs> care. You say it how we want to say it. As with everything else. <laughs> Reminded me a bit of the Glockkin. I remember, remember putting that together. That was like a jigsaw piece almost. Yeah, it was like a 3D just, jigsaw. Yeah. Well, there wasn't any pegs or anything, it was just hold it and hope for the best. I can't imagine that's how the great and clean one goes to your... Oh, wow. I would have thought it very similar. Yeah. Uh, it was like an Easter egg almost. If you yeah. pressed it in it, it'd just go crack and collapse. Right. These two parts, I think. Apart from the Easter egg you got me, which didn't come. <laughs> yeah, that was like, just made of like that was solid, solid almost. It was um, it was a dime. Yeah, it was a dime one. Never say you don't get your money's worth from from a from a cabbage dime. Yeah. It was like a brick. It was actually, yeah. <laughs> kind of like hit it on the side of the table, nothing happened. We hit it, it on the wall. Not break. Nah, like, what nothing was, happened. It's <laughs> just made of. Right, so with the arms, they go on. Nope. Doesn't want it. Why are the toes separate? I have no idea. I, I, I have no words. <laughs> it's like, why would you? Why does this toe need to be separate? No, it's like, other than just to knock you kind of thing. Where is it? Your money's worth out of the building process. Mm. As it goes firing across the room. Yeah. So it's pinged off. It's one more bit you can lose, basically. Mm. Or break. Or not get on right. Mm-hmm. More glazed up. Ah, that's the real reason. You wish you can sell you more glue. <laughs> I'm not cynical. Am I? <laughs> Alright, let's get this base on here. Right, 
So, that will attach into that, that goes onto that, and then the rat thing. A lot of rats. I think Skaven have infiltrated this, the, uh, the vampires. Possible. Grave digger, oh. not, not the grave digger, that guy. He's fine, he's over there, might as well. Sorry, I meant the other dude, the Captain. halberd. Captain oh. Halberd. Copy time. <laughs> <laughs> it's his name, though. Captain Halberd. <laughs> Captain Halberd. Don't care what his actual name was, something grim. <laughs> Captain Halberd Grim. That's where we've been on now. So there we go. So there is the Varg Skier, which is, I'm sure it's meant to be some sort of Varg ass thing. Mm. But yeah. Wolf vampire thing. Lovely. Cool. I believe that is all of Spruce C, isn't it? Yes, it so is. So now we're on to Minions. So Minions are very. This is where it gets confusing when you've got like D1 times 2 and D3 <laughs> times 2. And... Yeah, because these two <laughs> last sprues are the same. Same, yeah. So, so these two are. Scally bubbles and zombies and bats and such like and rats. Yay. And some of the um objectives and other things. Right. Right, so first off we have the Dead Walker zombies. And we have D two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? <laughs> and we have one Three, five, seven, and nine. And this looks like these are optional fits, so you can make them a bit more unique. So it's like there's five different types of body, five different types of upper part, and you can mix them together so they're a bit different. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll get those parts off. In fact, we'll just do those for now, and then we'll move on to the orphan watch afterwards. Back in a moment. Okay, so these guys are pretty much just a mix and match. So we have two bodies and two heads, and with one attachment. So it's just a case of picking up one of these and then pretty much randomly attaching it to another one to make another to make a zombie. So I'll just go ahead and do that with each model. Then they have the 25 mil slaughter bases that they go on. They look pretty cool, though, these, what mm. do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Really good. Oh, as I've got my face full of yum yum. Yeah, I thought that was a good point to ask you a question. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, no worries. So what we'll do is just take <laughs> these together in a random manner and come back with some finished zombies. And Chloe can finish eating as well. <laughs> and there we go. <clears throat> got some zombies now. It's probably worth noting there are two female zombies. Well, four in total. Um, so there's two different female legs, two different female heads sections. So they are separate on here from the male ones. So not quite as mix and match as I thought. Because those ones have to kind of go together. But these guys are awesome. Mm. <laughs> I really like them. You know what, it's got a real Malifaux feel to me. Yeah. The grave digger. And then these guys are like they've been dug up by him. I don't know. What do you think? Um kinda of reminds me of like Nick and Dem and Oh yeah. And his buddy whose name I can't remember. Seamus. No, not Seamus, he's Tenchman. The, the grave digger. Oh I? yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, Mortimer. Uh, Mortimer. That's it. And uh like the punk zombies and stuff. And so, just there's something about it that sort of reminds me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. And I said in the Crimson Court. Have you seen the Crimson Court this out next week? It, yes, I have, yeah. There's a model in there that just looks like one of the Neverborn. 
Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm complaining that much because the cool bottles. Um, so next we're going to move on to the Skelly Bobs. Uh, we've got Ultham Watch here. So we've got times two again. We have D12, 14, um, are these multi-part ones again? Or, yeah, they're optional again, aren't they? So D12, D14, we mix with D11 and D13. D16 and D19 and 18. Mm -hmm. Can we mix with 15 and 17? So yeah, so we need to keep them separate so we know which one goes with which when we take them off. Um, and then we also have D21, which is the standard bearer. Uh, use D22, D23, and then this has got the chomp, you know, D23 and D20. So we'll get all these guys off and put them together as a unit. Um, looks like they should be pretty straightforward. Let me clean them up and have a look. Okay, so again we have two part models. And I'm literally going to mix and match these together. Like that. Um, I'm going to make sure I alternate between these ones and then between these ones to get different models. The standard bearer is pretty much the same. Apart from me also has this D22 part which needs to go on as well. That has a little circle on. Which goes around uh, this bit where it should do. Like that. Before you put the banner section on. The champion is two part like these guys so other than that it's all just a two part construction so I'll put them together and come back when they're done. And there we go some finished skeletons. Standard mirror. Champion. There is a couple of guys with swords but they just have a little T attachment dead easy to, to see that one, so I didn't bother turning the camera back on to show you that, but there we go. Guy with the sword. You're the guy with the sword. He's just killed the other guy with the sword. He did, didn't like him. Spearman. These are very nice models. I really like the style mm. of these models, and I'm hoping they do a box set where for the new vampire army, you know. Yeah, definitely. Right, so uh, that's the Skelly Bubbles done. And we're on to the next ones, which are rats. Mm -hmm. I see rats before me. Corpse rats. So these are undead rats, so unlikely to be scaven, but you never know. Sneakers. So these three go there, do they? Yep. There's the same. So we've got three different constructions, have we? Times two. Yeah. So I guess that bit goes on there. These remind me of the Malifaux rats for uh, Hamlin. Yeah. Same sort of construction, I'm pretty sure. So that one goes on that. And that one goes on that. What size base is these on? Uh, is that 32? Does it say that? 32, I think it says. Two. Makes sense. I think it's those with the holes that you've got there. Six, mm. And there is six left. Cool. So Here we 
we go. That's one. <laughs> Where do these ones go together? Pretty much the same, isn't it? Just yeah, just different. One on one side and one, one on the, the other. other. Yeah, same. Right, so I'll construct them all. Back mm -hmm. in a second. Okay, so. Quartz rats ones. They look really cool, actually. That's those guys. Next up, we have some bat swarms. So there's six of these B35 times two and D34 times two. D37 uh, times two. I think that might be wrong, actually. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Why? Well, that's D35. That's D35. Mm hmm. That's what I've just cut off. Yep. So which is this one? I have no idea. I'll have to <clears> have a look. So that's the bits for that. Is that the head for that? Yeah. So you haven't cut this bit off yet? Well no, because I assume that's D33 then. That's D33. So it's wrong! Fan mistake! <laughs> 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 so I'll get these bats for off. There's also these gallows. Um, and then we have some other stuff. We've got, I think these are all objectives and things in the game. Got some little um, uh, tombstones and markers, some gargoyles, and some undead cats. So um, we'll get all these cut off and get them together. Okay, so we can start on the bats. So first bat is actually two parts, which is the bat body and the head. Make sure that's on there, like that, and then on to a base. Uh, bat number two, we have the D35, this was the actual D35. Mm -hmm. And we have this bit here. There's a little peg on there. There's a peg that. So this. Goes on that. And then the large section. Like that, and then they go into a 25 mil base. That's all that's left. It's got to be a 25 mil base. Hopefully, I can't get that wrong. Uh, <laughs> and the last one uh, is just literally that onto the, and then onto a base. Uh, Like so, the gallows, uh, there's actually a separate part. Uh, so you've got one guy pointing this way, which is D27, and another guy pointing the other way, which is D26. So those just attach onto there. And then I imagine that you've got these spare then at the end. Uh, yes. I imagine a few little spare parts. So I'll go ahead and just put these together and then we'll come back and finish off these little markers. Okay, so there is complete bat swarms. These are really nice actually. They're Just not bad. a little swarm mm -hmm. on all the 25mm bear. Yeah. A larger one. And that guy. Okay, cool. And we have the gallows. Easily done. I've just stuck these on because there's just one part, it's a gravestone, and then we've got the little thing with the raven. 
raven with a key. Mm. Or crow, I suppose. Could, Could be, be a crow. crow or a raven. Then we have these little gargoyles. Mm -hmm. So these are just two parts. It's the head and the body. Still doesn't want to go on. <laughs> Unbelievable. There we go. These guys are cool. I don't know what they're for. Probably just little markers, aren't they? Or something, probably. You probably are markers. Uh, there'll be something in the game you need them for. Yeah. Obviously, we haven't even looked at anything else in the game yet, so. Uh... The other one's just exactly the same. Mm -hmm. A little rat. What's next? That's a, I think oh. it's a cat, though. Is it a cat? Yeah, it is actually. It's an undead cat, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't say um, on the thing what any of these are. So I think they're all markers in the book for some. So a two part cap, easy enough. Maybe it's to hunt down the under rat swarm. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's an ally. <laughs> cat ally. I don't think I want that as an ally, to be quite honest. What else are you gonna do to get rid of the rats? A big blunderbuss and just shoot them. There is that. Two of us doing it. Mm -hmm. There we go. That is the every model from the set. Move these off here. Have a little my clones there. And that swarms in. I'm not even going to fit all this on my camera. Varg skier, whatever it was, uh, on the right side base. Some zombies, Captain Halberd. Uh, got the two big guys. I really like these ones. They're really cool. And uh, the main boss, second boss. <laughs> got the three vampires. More zombies. That's the villains. And then we've got the heroes. Got uh, this dude. Got dwarf. We got Phil We got uh, what's in the guy from Malifaux? Yol Lang. Yol. Uh, yeah, this guy. Yan Lo, that's it. <laughs> Neil Yola. His beard's a lot longer, but you know, same idea. Let's say hello, Pan then. <laughs> Uh, elf girl, uh, Queen of Adala, uh, Van Helsing, and uh, this guy. What was his name? Alton Victor Van, 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 Van no, no. Richtenstein, the fiftieth. Yeah, something like that. We, we, we showed you the names earlier, and we'll thing. remember them when we play the game. Yeah. Thank you. There we go, that's all the models from the game, put together. Done. Ready to be painted. <laughs> so, uh, in the next video we do on this, if we do another video on this, mm -hmm. uh, put in the comments if you do want us to do another video. We'll play the first scenario. But I want to have the models painted for that. Or at least the models that need for the first scenario. Yeah. So uh, that might take us some time. 
Yeah, I'm not going to. I don't know how. Well, I might put this onto my next part of the painting list, mm. I think. Yeah, I'm definitely. Sorry. I've just finished some. I'll see how Bone Reapers off. Mm. Um, but there we go. So, put in the comments if you want to see us play this at all. Mm -hmm. And we will try and get back to it. Otherwise, we hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I think in the next video, I'll finally do the Necromunda Ford World models, which are still in boxes, by the way. Uh, so, stay tuned for that. And uh, hope you guys have a good day. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.